for it is not subject to the law of God, neither indeed can be. So then those who are in the what? Flesh cannot please God. Don't you live your life to please God? I'm talking about your life of faith, your Christian life, your whole life, the sum total of it. It should be done with the intention of living to please your heavenly father. But I have learned in dealing with people through the years that one of the reasons why people can't seem to get over that hump is because of uh, the fear that we carry in a number of different areas, but particularly as it pertains to our relationship with other folk. Y'all know the Bible says in Proverbs that the fear of man is a, it's a snare, it's a trap to be afraid of somebody. You know your mama, your grandmama, somebody, you know, got some kind of old, old wives tale. Something tell me, you know, come here, baby, you pregnant, you and your hubby expected, come here, let me, you know, some, some numb, dumb, green geeky over your, over your belly and anoint you with this chicken grease and this foot that I cut off this chicken. And you going to go and let grandmama do it because it's grandmama. Are you crazy? Are you nuts? I don't care if it's your grandmama, your mama, your father, your spouse, or your kids, your employer, anybody. Listen, listen, your sole allegiance is to God and God alone.